All right, so the weekend is um, officially over, uh, at least the MTB Experience Moab retreat. So um, feeling a little kind of like sad. I had so much fun. I didn't want the weekend to end and it went by so fast. Hey guys, out here in St. George, just off of Washington Parkway, I think is what it is, exit 13. I got some uh, information from a buddy of mine. He told me to check out, um, I think it's called Dino or Dino. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna check that one out. I'm possibly gonna check out Church Rocks. I just kind of depends on how I feel. Uh, definitely been a busy week or a couple of days. Um, like I said, I got two days to kill before the Ragnar race up in Zion. And so today I thought maybe I would see how I felt for a ride. It's so beautiful outside. It's overcast. You can't get these rocks are so beautiful like the colors out here in st george and zion and all that are just so hopefully it's a cool ride on precious got my red bull ready to rock and roll rocking a tank top today shorts no knee pads hopefully i don't regret that i was gonna go no pack as well but uh figured better safe than sorry all right guys hopefully it's something cool I'm gonna see if I can figure this out. I think I need to take Grapevine up, which is kind of like the connector. Grapevine. I'm gonna take that to uh, Dino. Dino. Grapevine. I still haven't cleaned the bike from Moab. <laughs> I got to the hotel last night and it was just like, dead so I was gonna edit videos and stuff didn't even do that I just watched a couple of movies and went to bed like in the HD4 but it's not so sold that I want to buy it I'd kind of like to give a couple of 29ers a good a good test ride I like that pivot firebird a lot. All right. I'm going to check the trail forks because it says grapevine. You go left, left, and then prospector says you go. I'm going to go ahead and, and take the right at the fork here. Keep climbing up and see how I feel once I get to Brackens and maybe I'll go hit up church rocks. So I'm feeling pretty decent right now. God, look at that hill. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh my God. Hello. I'm an eagle. <laughs> How far will I make it? I'm <sighs> So we got Bracken's Loop to the left and Prospector to the right. So I'm going to go right on Prospector. It's a little windy. It's supposed to have a ton of weather this weekend. Sometimes you just gotta let it go, but I just have a really hard time just letting go. This is some severe downhill. And you know what that means. It means we're about to get into some severe uphill. <laughs> So I'm not really liking how this fork feels going into sections like that. I feel like it's dipping on me. And it's not exactly confidence inspiring. And to be fair to DVO, I haven't had it set 
for me other than what they just did going off of my weight and stuff. But it's just like when you're turning like that under load, I feel like it's, it's giving out on me. I suppose if you fell, it wouldn't be the worst thing, right? It's soft. So I'm gonna go left. I've read on trail forks that church rocks was better clockwise. So I'm going to do it that way. And hopefully whoever that dude was that put that there is a similar rider to myself. So I checked my subscriber account last night. I got like a notification for something and I was like, in there. I think I'm at like 924 or something. So close. <laughs> if you're watching this, subscribe. <laughs> it doesn't cost you anything. It definitely helps. Not just like with a number, but it lets you know that people care. You know, and they kind of like what you're doing. I don't follow a schedule. I just haven't found that that's going to be good for me at the moment. It's more hobby status. I love the feedback I get from people. And I honestly, I've met some freaking amazing human beings just through YouTube and mountain biking. It's so cool. Like, basically, that whole Phoenix group is from some shape, form, or fashion of YouTube. Like my buddy Patrick had commented on a couple of my initial mountain biking videos and we ended up meeting up in Phoenix and then, you know, became friends. And I've done a couple rides. He talked me into doing that ride series clinic. Like, just met some super cool people along the way. And, uh, yeah all because of YouTube it's so cool these red rocks like St. George and Hurricane really are kind of like a little mini Moab I'm trying to figure out if it looks far enough ahead to see where the trail is going So smooth. Uh oh, it's sprinkling. I got Ragnar on Friday and Saturday. Ugh. I'd like to do a bike gnar, not that that's actually a thing. I mean, I'm sure there's, I know there's races that are similar, but I'd love to do a, like a team mountain bike race relay just for fun. It's a cool trail. It's not too crazy, at least not yet. And you can make it as crazy as one. I see some alternate lines for sure. She sounds so creaky. It's mostly the seat. It's probably got some dust underneath there. A little Moab dirt. I'll take her apart and clean her. I also think I need to check the pivots, joints. I think those may have come loose again. 
I'm not sure where this loops, like, comes back. It's got to be lower, I guess, down there. If I'm not mistaken, it loops to the right and basically parallels this, so it has to be down low. check to make sure this is where I'm supposed to go. Johnny just texted. She's at work. She's like, are you riding? I was like, yeah. <laughs> you know, she works at a bike shop. I wouldn't mind. Actually, I'd love to do that and uh, kind of learn some stuff. <gasps> oh my god. I'm not going to get too close because I don't want to startle it, but that's up first time I have ever seen a tortoise when riding. So cool. Wow, that was a treat. Such a treat. I remember this. I'm just walking it because, yeah, I just, I feel like it, okay? Quit judging me. <laughs> Holy sheesh. All right, I'm going to get up to the top, guys. No reason to record this, right? Yep. <laughs> nice! There we go.
definitely very itchy right now. I'm good. <laughs> Oh shit. <laughs> I'll shift, but I'm gonna go with probably no. Smoked. <sighs> yeah. How <sighs> fucking proud I made it up that first part. Oh my god, this is like hard to push. All right, guys, I'll catch you at the top. Whew. Okay, that was a bitch of a hill, holy crap. So this is the road. I'm gonna go left on it and head back down to the truck. All right, finishing up the ride just on this little connector dirt trail. The ride was a lot of fun. I would do it again. A little bit of everything. I would definitely recommend paying attention to trail forks if you haven't ridden it before. Cause I did get lost a couple of times, but uh, yeah, it had some Moab feel to it. A lot of great scenery. I got to see a tortoise for the first time out on the trail. Super happy with the way the weekend, the week went. Moab went amazing. I was fortunate enough to get out and ride today. The weather kind of took a break from crappiness. It's kind of been nice and cool, shady, cloudy, and then sunny. So yeah, I'll take it. My lips are so dry. All right.